All right, the GOAT of sleep systems just got a major update. Got back from the Grand Canyon recently. I haven't even unpacked my backpack, so I used this particular sleep system in the Grand Canyon uh, this past week. And uh, so I'm gonna pull it out. We're gonna set it up. <laughs> I'm not in the Grand Canyon, I'm actually in my backyard. It's been a while since we made a backyard video, hasn't it? Yes, yeah, feeling kind of nostalgic. So let's just dig in and find out what could this sleep system actually be. Uh, well, May or may not be a pretty terrible packer when I leave uh, places. I just throw things in the backpack. This is part of the sleep system, but um, this is an addition to the sleep system. We're going to talk about this, why I brought this. This is the Thermarest compressible pillow. This is not part of the sleep system that we're talking about today. We're actually talking about the Zen Bivy, and Zen Bivy actually came out with a brand new sleep system that is extremely ultralight. All right, let's talk about this sleeping pad. This is the ultralight sleeping pad that comes with the new ultralight Zen Bivy system. Um, this stuff sack actually doubles as a pump sack. So you can attach this to the sleeping pad and just sort of blow in the end like you would a lot of other pump sacks and roll and uh, fill up your sleeping pad if you want that way. But what's really interesting and unique about this sleeping pad is when you first get it, it's it's almost got like the look to it like you'd find on the really inexpensive sleeping pads on Amazon. It's got that quilted look to it. And the quilted look is reminiscent of sleeping pads that when you sit on them, they sort of bow up on the head and the foot. But they did something really unique with this sleeping pad. If anyone buys this sleeping pad and you're wondering, does the Zero Pump from Flextail fit it? Um, the one attachment that I found that sort of fits it is the one for Nemo, and you gotta kinda cram it in there, but it works. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna notice is that it's got that quilted pattern that you'd see on the, a lot of those cheap Amazon pads, but this one, when you push down on it, it doesn't bow up like you'd see on a lot of those cheap Amazon pads, and I think the way they figured that out was instead of making the uh, quilted pattern go this way and this way, it's just sort of, uh, you know, 45 degree angle and they're kind of like this. So if it's gonna bow anywhere, it potentially would be here, but it really doesn't do that too bad. The valve, it's a typical valve that you've seen in a lot of pads. It's got the, um, the valve that you can just fill up here. Uh, you can sort of the sensitive touch to kind of touch here to release air uh, just a little bit at a time if you want to sort of adjust the comfort and then you can open this to do the quick release. One thing that I noticed about this sleeping pad out the gate was that the first night I slept on it, um, my hip was touching the ground. If I cranked my legs up like this, then my hips were hitting the ground. So I had to wake up about two o'clock in the morning and fill it up with a little bit more air. And uh, it's, it's really comfortable. It's very comfortable, but uh, that did bother me a little bit, that hip thing. What I had to do to stop that was I had to really inflate the pad almost to the point where I'm not super, super uh, comfortable with it being that firm. I slept just fine. It wasn't that big of a deal, uh, but just keep that in mind as you are uh, shopping for these pads. So you're probably gonna have to over inflate it a little bit if you're maybe uh, a little bony. <laughs> so all I do is I fill it up with the flex sail pump and then I can just blow in the end here. give it a couple extra bursts of air that that pump isn't gonna be able to get in there. And then it's a lot more firm. Still really comfortable. Um, this particular pad that I've got here is the 25 by 72 inch pad. So it's a pretty wide pad. My feet hang off a little bit on this one. They may or may not have different lengths than the 72 inch. Uh, we'll put all the specs for this stuff on the screen. Oh, and then they call this uh, an R5, R value. It's actually R4.8. Um, and then we're also gonna put up on the screen whether that is ASTM rated or not, because I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, but we did ask them and I'm just waiting for a response on that. All right, so what is the upgrade to this setup? Um, here's one massive upgrade. This is the sheet that goes on the Zen Bivy system. Um, this is the ultralight sheet. And this is a really interesting piece of gear that makes this whole sleep setup actually feel like your bed at home. What makes this 
really unique is uh, the ultralight version is like a half sheet. So it only comes down to about here. And the way it's attached is typical of a lot of quilts. It's just got two straps on here. This uh, sheet is great, but you can see right here, like it came off at the top. So it sort of slipped off. I think I just need to get better at putting it on and adjusting it. I figured out that um, there are straps on the back of the Zen Bivy sheet that need to be tightened up. I should have noticed that, but we were just so tired when we got to camp. I just threw it together the first night, so I tightened those up and that sheet stayed on really well last night. So once it's tightened up, uh, you've got this insulated hood and they also make an uninsulated hood on here and they make them at a 10 degree and a 25 degree insulated hood. But what I love about this particular hood is that you can just sort of put your entire arm in here you can put your up over your forehead. The one thing that does bother me with this hood, and I wish, if Zenbivy, if you are listening, one recommendation that I would make is this side panel here that acts as sort of this draft shield for the quilt that we're about to put on here. It would be nice if this um, draft shield extended further up so that way I could clip this um, down farther and I can actually peel this hood back if I don't want to use the hood at all. It's just kind of awkward to have this um, hood always here and having to sleep on top of it um, when it's really hot out because you can't really fold it up out of the way really easily. So unless I'm missing something, I guess maybe you could try to fold it underneath, but then it's sort of awkward to get it back out in the middle of the night. That would be one recommendation for me. You're welcome. Now this is the quilt that it comes with. Uh, I opted for the 10 degree quilt. I think this is probably comfort rated to about 20 degrees, maybe 25. So keep that in mind. Um, but the sort of the survival rating or the uh, risk rating I would say is probably closer to 10 degrees. But this is a really awesome quilt. Super ultralight, totally on par with all the other ultralight quilts on the market now finally, which is really nice. But one super unique thing with this quilt is if they've got this foot box that sort of folds over here like this. And it, when you put your feet in it, it just snaps closed. And then you could easily put your feet out of it too. So there's no zipping or unzipping. Um, and it, it just makes for a really nice foot box. It sort of makes it nicer, I think, than having a closed, fully closed foot box because when your feet are in it, it's fully closed. It just sort of snaps shut and overlaps. But when you want, you could easily open it up and put your feet out of it that way. So how this works, just like any other quilt, you just lay it on the sleeping pad like this, and then these clips match up with these little uh, little hooks here, these little kind of minute ho mitten hooks here. You just match them up to each color of the tab on the quilt. And now uh, you've got like a full on bed, like you would at home. The quilt isn't strapped around underneath, so, it's actually pretty unrestricted underneath here, which makes it feel more like, like a comforter over the top of you. You don't feel like it's cocooning you like a quilt could as it's being strapped around underneath. And then as you're rolling around, these sort of draft shields here block all the drafts from coming in. Um, there was a couple times where I sort of felt drafts if I really moved around under here, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, you know, kind of like any other quilt, as you begin to move around, there's somewhere where possibly drafts are going to come in. That was about the only place I felt it. As you're laying in it, you could sort of fold this out. When I lay on a so my side, I'm a side sleeper. I kind of felt like this big corner was in my face, but the, you know, the workaround is obviously just to tuck that underneath and then, uh, you know, you're good to go. Again, I would love to be able to take this hood and just fold that back to be able to, you know, just extend this a little bit somehow. That would be really helpful. Um, and then one other thing that I thought was pretty cool was this uh, cinch cord here on the quilt. So when you pull on it and you cinch it up, it only bunches together in the center here, right in the center. And then these sides just stay unbunched. And so it's, it just feels more like it's wrapping where you want it only. And then here it just, you know, acts more like a draft collar around the side. So it's not like choking your neck. Uh, I thought that was really neat. And then it makes it also so that this cord, this cordage that they've got in there is off to the side and not sort of dangling in your face. Okay, one more piece of uh, gear that they sent me was this uh, pillow setup. 
I believe this is the large one that they sent me and this all in weighs around 10, maybe 11 ounces. But you get this bladder here that acts as the pillow, okay? And how this works is you've got this sort of nylon sheet. And one thing I do like about Zen Bivy is how the quilt feels, the sheet feels, and the nylon feel. It feels almost like cotton, but not quite. But it's a lot closer to cotton than a lot of the other quilts on the market. So that's really nice. They've spent a lot of time trying to make it feel like uh, your bed at home. So what you do is you put the bladder inside of this little case and then you just blow it up. Then you can just snap this shut. And then this down topper, which you could use this as just a pillow itself, uh, would just slide in here. Now you got this awesome super cozy comfortable pillow super interesting pillow system it sort of connects at the top here with these little tabs on either end and that stops the pillow from sliding too far up the top off of the mattress and they call that like their headboard clips or whatever now one thing that i you know learned about this particular pillow is that to me as much as they tried to make this feel like your pillowcase at home, um, it was still nylon. I, I'm pretty sure it's nylon. We'll put it up on the screen. The pillow, while it's very comfortable and it's super like, you know, fluffy and all those things, it is, um, it's got like a nylon cover on the outside of it. And so your face feels like it's on the side of a tent all night long, which a lot of outdoor pillows are like that. So... It was a warmer night last night. It, I mean, I bet it got down to like 50 degrees, 45 or 50 degrees. So it got real sticky. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. So I ended up switching over to my uh, Thermarest compressible pillow because that one's a cotton outside and that one feels more natural to me. This is a very comfortable pillow. I love how um, usable all of the parts are. You can make it as firm or as soft as you want. It was really well thought through. And again, the idea is to make this like your bed at home. So I did like the pillow, but I would prefer my other pillow instead. You, you, you thought I lived by the mountains? No, I live by construction zone. So yeah, this is my backyard. This is what we're dealing with, folks. Shut up! This whole setup, it's not cheap. All right, so the quilt, 10 degree, uh, a large one is over 650 bucks just for the quilt. The ultralight sheet, this one here, the 10 degree one is $179. And if you want the mattress, it says uh, coming soon, but we're getting close to 200 bucks on the mattress. So. Uh, you're getting up there for this whole sleep setup. Now, if you're thinking that's really expensive, you can save about $400 by buying the light version, not the ultralight version. It's about 10, maybe 11 ounces more if you're buying the comparable version, the 10 degree version and the 72 by 25 inch wide pad. This is by far the most comfortable sleep setup I have ever used. So I think they've got a right to price it how they want to. Uh, but it is really expensive. So you're gonna keep that in mind, obviously, as you're buying this. But if sleep is your thing, and it's definitely mine, uh, this is definitely a sleep system to consider. All right, so what do you think? Put your comments below, let me know. Would you buy this if you think this is uh, for you? Um, is this sort of the goat of sleep systems like I think it is? And we will see you on the next one.